Hello, tech aficionados. Welcome to the Computer Maintenance and Repair Module 5 hard drives and other storage devices. Please like, comment and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Let's dive right into the crux of the matter. You've got an Asus TUF 505DU laptop and unfortunately its hard drive won't play nice with the Toshiba MK8009 GAH. Why, you ask? Well, though they share the same form factor, their interfaces clash like knights in a medieval joust. Yes, it's all about compatibility, my dear Watson. Now imagine you're on a treasure hunt in your tech drawer and you find four hard drives. You need one that's a perfect fit for your desktop system. Here's a clue. The motherboard documentation reveals it has six SATA 3 GB per S connectors and one IDE connector. Ah, a beacon of hope. The WD 3.57200 RPM SATA Revision 3.0 HDD is your knight in shining armor here, offering the best performance for your system. Moving on to our server friends, looking to build a RAID system designed for optimum fault tolerance, accuracy and minimal downtime. Opt for a hot swap 3.5 SATA Revision, 3.010,000 revolutions per minute drive. Now, if you're considering RAID configurations, RAID 0 is your go-to for performance if you've got two matching drives. But remember, if you're paranoid about data loss, RAID 1 is your saviour when one drive decides to kick the bucket. Here's a quick tip. If your laptop's SD card slot starts acting up, give Windows an update. It's like giving spinach to Popeye. And a word to the wise on capacity measurements. Manufacturers use decimal, but your OS prefers binary. It's like they're from two different planets, right? Now, let's say the event viewer has been playing the role of a prophet of doom, reporting hard drive errors for a month. Don't panic. Just summon the Czech desk command to work its magic and repair your drive. Ever installed a SATA hard drive and felt the cold shoulder when it wasn't recognized? Turn off your rig, open the case, and play detective with the data and power cables. Ah, and for those wanting to install an SSD, but find it swimming in your desktop case like a little fish in a big pond, just grab a bay adapter. It's like giving that little fish a proper aquarium to thrive in. Remember, hard drives can slow down over time. They get crammed, SSDs need a clean slate to write, and magnetic drives don't enjoy scavenger hunts across fragmented data. And lastly, for the speed demons, a PCIe NVMe SSD card races ahead of its M2 and SATA siblings. But beware, installing an M2 SSD might just sideline your DVD drive, unless it's just a loose cable or a disabled connector drive. So there you have it. Armed with this knowledge, you're now ready to tackle those tech troubles with confidence. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. And remember, when in doubt, reboot first. Until next time, keep your tech tight and your knowledge right. Cheers.